if I ever had to like deliver anything, like whether it's Uber, uh, UPS, postal service, or if I had to just deliver a per, you know, transport, escort a person, like, like, you know, drop somebody off and the destination was Kingstown. I'm sorry. I'm skipping that stop. I'm skipping that. I'm, I'm skipping that stop, man. <laughs> hey what's going on folks this is another episode of ryan reviews everything and we're talking about the latest episode of mary of kingstown and yes i missed the first episode i caught up with the uh the the first two a couple days ago and man boy let me tell you something um if i ever had to like deliver anything like whether it's uber uh ups postal service or if I had to just deliver a per, you know, transport, escort a person, like, like, you know, drop somebody off and the destination was Kingstown. I'm sorry. I'm skipping that stop. I'm skipping that. I'm, I'm skipping that stop, man. Uh, I love the show. This is the real, one of the realest, hardest shows that are, that came back to TV right now. Um, it's one of the creators or, or, or EPs is, uh, Taylor Sheridan, who's famously known for Yellowstone. And then of course we also have, uh, Antoine Fuqua, which in my opinion, Antoine Fuqua hardly misses whenever he's involved in a project. And this is no different. Kingstown, um, which is a fictional city, by the way, but it takes place in Michigan. Kingstown is so damn hard. You saw what well, you saw how they give it up at the end of episode two. Um, so spoiler alert, if you haven't seen episode two yet of season three, but the mom finds the person who's responsible for killing her son at a bus stop. And just runs up on him and shoots him straight up. And once again, King sound is so hard. You, I don't. You don't hear anybody yell or scream. You don't hear anybody yell. You know, call nine one one. The most you hear is like some commotion, and people just speed walking their ass on the bus. And of course, being that it's a big vehicle, it's not like the bus can just. So the bus just slowly takes off as this person has been shot dead by a grieving mother. That's how hard Kingstown is, just to give you an example for those who aren't familiar with it. But um, this was uh, a lot into it. Uh, for starters, Bunny seems like he's about to be in a lot of trouble. He's out here pushing dope that's killing people. Um, Big Hush, uh, one of people who worked for uh, Bunny, ended up, you know, having the, the wrong end of the stick by having to swallow some balloons. And it pops and he dies. But not only that, it was just laced with something nasty anyway um and that just goes to show you another thing just how brutal the show is it just shows how expendable people can be man like once again big hush is somebody who works for bunny he passes away from ing ingesting some bad drugs hey this has got to keep moving they cut him up and they still you know they get it out of his intestines or whatever and they still sell this bad dope throughout the prison now we got bodies just dropping everywhere, foaming at the mouth. Um, so I'm sure that's um, going to be some type of panic mode for Bunny. Somebody is sabotaging his drug operation. Um, the woman who he thought had something to do with it ends up dead, so she can't speak. Even if she's aware of it, hey, dead people can tell no tales. So she was responsible for pushing bad dope. We don't know if she knew about it or not. And... She's dead anyway, so even if somebody caught her, she can't snitch on who made Bunny's dope bad. So you got that going on. So Bunny got a lot to uh, think about. Uh, Raph, who's on the inside, I don't know what he's about to do. Of course, Mike suggested that he go ahead and, and work with, um, you know, make an alliance with, with like one of the Hispanic members. So we'll see how that goes, man. Um, one of the big stories uh, also, we definitely see Merle's quick impact merle gets transported to his prison merle being the head of the um i guess the gang leader of the aryan nation um apparently he he, found, he got wind of who's responsible for dropping dime on on um on like the aryan uh fortress which of course thanks to rob rob you know he he put fried aryan on the menu that night and let me just back up especially since i missed the first episode I don't know why everybody is so upset at Rob in the first damn place. You know, you, you, if you bring Rob, you know Rob is about to just 
Rob goes in. Rob's turn it up whenever you bring him on a mission. So if you don't want Rob to turn up, leave his ass at home. Do some type of mission without him. Because Rob is going to catch a body when he's on a mission. And I just don't blame Rob. It's, it's like... It's like having a honey glazed salmon in front of a bear and then you get mad when the bear eats the honey glazed salmon. You know, uh, Rob's team was under fire. Um, things was going down bad. And in order to save his men, Rob shoots a grenade launcher inside of the Aryan fortress, deep frying a lot of them. The irony there, I know, deep fried Aryans. But um, so, yeah, man, I just wanted to, you know, digress to that small part in episode one. Um, Mike's brother, his name escapes me at the moment, which I know is, is, is horrible. But, uh, you know, he's out here, you know, enjoying fatherhood. I'm still, you know, I'm still surprised that Mike didn't want to pull up and see the baby. Um, I'm not sure what that was about. And that was really the bulk of this episode. The bulk of this episode is what are we going to do about the bad drugs in here? Um, I'm curious to see about this, uh, the... Uh, the uh, correctional officer who actually works for Bunny. Um, we saw that in episode one. I wonder if he's going to try to get to the bottom of what's going on with these bad drugs. I, I, I want to see how this is going to further benefit Bunny by having a, a a CEO who actually is cool with Bunny. Um, and also we have, um, what's my man's name? The Warden. I think his name is Jaren. Uh, yeah, Jaren is out here. He's not, he, he doesn't rock with Mike. I don't know why not. Um, of course, he still, I think he still has some type of PTSD from from him getting violated in in, in uh, season two. So, yeah, man, it's, it's a lot to keep up with, but I love every minute of it. Um, once again, I, I really want to know who's at the bottom of messing with um, messing with uh, uh, Bunny's dope. Some reason I have a feeling that I, I feel like it's uh, I feel like the Aryans have something to do with it. I'm going to just put it out there. And of course, um, I'm hoping that we get to see more of um, what the Russian mafia is up to now that it's under new reign with uh, Constantine. We, we saw how hard he was paused in the first episode. He's killing mothers in front of their they babies. So, yeah, brutal season. I am, I'm very excited to see how the rest of the season goes. Um, yeah, King, uh, King. Mayor of Kingstown is Must Watch TV. If you're not familiar with it, it comes on every Sunday on Paramount Plus. Um, let me know your thoughts, your theories. If I missed anything, if you agree or disagree with any takes I have when it comes to um, to Mayor of Kingstown. And once again, I'm stick with my theory. I think the Aryan uh, Brotherhood has something to do with sabotaging um, sabotaging Bunny Supply. Maybe that stuff is gets categorized as bad dope and all of a sudden these Aryan people I don't know they come in with meth or, or heroin or, or whatever they push instead of this bad dope that is you know under bunnies in the Crips control so love it or hate it man that's my review peace